Hello and welcome to another episode of West Plays Pokemon Yellow. We're almost to the very, very end, but I am actually using awesome time travel awesomeness to record this about five minutes after 27.5. So for you, that might have been two videos ago, but for me, it was only five minutes ago, which is almost the length of two videos if you're just like talking about normal YouTube length. So anyway, I thought I'm going to come up with a better little thing to talk about during the video for 10 minutes while you watch all of my grinding exploits. I'm just going to talk about things related to my Nintendo 3DS. Currently in my hand, I am holding a new Nintendo 3DS XL, the cool little red launch one, which I really like. And, you know, part of me does want the one that has face plates, but the nice giant screen on this is just lovely to look at, just gorgeous. So I'm just gonna go through and go through the games that are currently sitting on my new Nintendo 3DS XL, all the digital ones, and the cartridge one that's actually in it. I'm just gonna give a little brief commentary on what I am playing on this constantly. You know, it, cause it's, for me, I'm just very sporadic in which games I play at which time. And I just, you know, I don't really take the time to think about all the games that I've already downloaded on it. And I have a huge, huge backlog on the 3DS. So let's start with Hyrule Warriors Legends, the most recent game that I've been playing. It's fun. It plays amazingly well on the handheld, and I just really enjoy being able to do this on the go because it's just, I don't know, it's just more fun to me that way. I got the one on the Wii U and I enjoyed it, but having it on the go, much better. Much, much better. And this is my one of my most anticipated games this year, so I have to say, the year is uh, going strong with this title. Okay, so I'm going to my folders. First, I'm going to go to my retail games. These are all the games that are, you know, usually able to be bought at, you know, a store, brick and mortar store on a physical cartridge. So the first one that I ever bought, like as a digital download was New Super Mario Brothers 2. I really enjoyed it, but it was kind of more of the same with the New Super Mario Brothers formula. And there were already like three types of game, three types of New Super Mario Brothers games beforehand, or maybe two, I don't know. I don't know if I'd count the one for the Wii U before that. I don't know. It depends on when it came out. I don't remember. But yeah, New Super Mario Bros. 2. I love the fact that it kept track of all the coins you got during the game. And yeah, I'd like to go back and play through some of the extra levels, but that's one that I've definitely like beaten, beaten. The one right underneath that is Paper Mario Sticker Star. I have not made... Well, I've made a decent amount of progress into that, but not a whole lot. Like, I haven't gotten all the big stickers, and I think I'm currently in the forest area which might not be all that far if i recall correctly but i actually kind of like the game it's fun it's not like a traditional paper mario or even like a mario rpg type game but it's good i, I enjoy it for what it is you know a lot of people like to pretend it doesn't exist but it's it's one of those fun little side games right next to that is harvest moon 3d a new beginning i've put like 10 minutes into it well maybe more like an hour but that was like a long time ago like three or four years at least and I've just, I don't know, just did not grab me. And the only reason I keep it is because it has that cool cow sound when you hover over the icon. So I'll go ahead and turn up my 3DS and you can kind of hear it. That's why I like it. And you could hear the Zelda music in the background because I have the uh, Zelda Hyrule Warriors Legends uh, 3DS theme, which came with the game. So that's cool. The next one is Unchained Blades. I don't believe that one is actually a retail release. I don't know why it's in this folder. Uh, that one seemed pretty fun at the time, but I kind of fell out of it. It's just, you know, it just wasn't grabbing me very much. Although the voice acting is pretty good. I'd like to go back to it sometime. Maybe I should check to see how long it is to beat so that I can just plan out, hey, I'll do this within this week and get it done. Right next to that is Star Fox 64 3D. Obviously the classic Star Fox game. I didn't really play it that much. Because, you know, I played the one on the 64 a decent amount, I think. I want to say so. Yeah, yeah, and the Super Nintendo one. And Star Fox is kind of, you know, it's it's flying spaceships. You can't, you, you, it's pretty easy to figure out where you get there. Right under that is Fire Emblem Awakening. Love that game. Put so many hours into it. It's super fun. Everyone should play it. Not much I can say about it other than it's, like, a near-perfect Fire Emblem game. 
Next to that is Tomodachi Life. I really enjoyed that, but didn't put a whole lot of time into it, and now I don't foresee myself going back to that very often because Mitomo exists. But I guess if I wanted to make some cool like music videos and stuff and maybe even get some cool screenshots that I can go back to it. But for now, I'm not really planning on doing that anytime soon. Next to that is Pokemon Mystery Dun Dungeon Gates to Infinity. Didn't really like this Mystery Dungeon game. I don't know. It just... Uh... It is what it is. Like, I think that was the first 3DS one. Maybe the new one is better, but it just kind of got old after a while. So I did not finish it. Uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. I beat the first dungeon, I think, and then beat the Skull Kid the first time when you're on the clock tower, I believe. That was like a year ago, I think. And I haven't really had time to go back to it. Well, I've had time, but I've just, you know reposition my time to something else after that is tetris axis which i've only put another like 30 minutes into it and that was when i was in korea looking for something to play i think i got it on like an uber sale though so i mean i'm not feeling too bad about not going back to it next to that is project cross zone and i know i'm pretty far in this game and the only thing that's keeping me from going back to it is that i know each map is like a huge time sink it's like 30 minute maps each time you play and then you have to go through all the text boxes and the story, or what semblance of a story there is. But I loved the fact that they did so many crossovers. I really enjoyed that part to it. Underneath that is Animal Crossing New Leaf. Not much needs to be said there. I really enjoy Animal Crossing. I'm quite a big fan. And while, you know, I didn't like totally get everything in the town and get all the fossils and all that, I put a significant chunk of time into it. Next to that is Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, and this is actually funny because it's a game that my wife played like all the way through within the time span of a week, and I kind of helped her out with missions, and I basically saw the story with her while I was working on like lots of schoolwork and stuff, so yeah, I, I count that as a title that I've done, because I had to help her through a lot of the hard parts that she wasn't really familiar with, but we both kind of played it together, and we enjoyed it. Above that is Rusty's Real Deal Baseball. That's not a cartridge title. That's the free-to-play title. I don't even think I've started it up, honestly. But I'm waiting for that time when I do. Uh, next to that is Fantasy Life, which kind of got pushed to the wayside once uh, Smash Brothers and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out. There just was not enough time in the day to play fi Fantasy Life. I enjoyed it, and I'd like to go back to it sometime. So I'm going to keep it on this cart for the time being. Uh, underneath that is Pokemon Battle Troze, which also kind of got overlooked once uh, Pokemon Shuffle came out. I enjoyed this one, and I kind of went back and forth between that and Shuffle just to keep the, the momentum going, because it's this one didn't limit your place. Uh, and next to that is Ultimate NES Remix. I found it fun, and I like the idea of playing these games on the go, like, you know, the other ones that I was talking about. I have the ones for the Wii U, and I don't really go back to them very much, but I'd like to do some videos on that. And that seems to be all my retail games in the folder, but I also have, you know, Pokemon X, obviously, right underneath that. And these are all on my home screen, so that they're easily accessible. Pokemon Omega Ruby and Pokemon X right next to each other. Then I have the Pokemon Bank and Pokemon Transporter right next to each other. And then, let's see, Shuffle and Rumble World right next to the Pokemon games. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3D, definitely planning on getting to that for my uh, backlog beatdown stuff. About 25 hours in, I want to say, I can't remember. Uh, Puzzles and Dragon Z plus Puzzles and Dragons Super Mario Brothers Edition. It's fun, but that Super Mario Brothers Edition is really hard. Actually, the whole game's hard, so I have to like really concentrate, which is hard for me. Next to that is Super Smash Brothers 3DS. Not much needs to be said about that. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 3D. I enjoy having Sonic the Hedgehog on the go and just being able to get my fix that way. Yokai Watch, putting a lot more hours into that, and I want to start watching the anime again soon. Uh, Nintendo Badge Arcade, uh, I was really into it for the first couple weeks and kind of dropped off and just uh, waiting for the time when they really update with badges I want. Uh, Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, I find that very fun and I'm going to get back to it soon. Mega Man Legacy Collection, that is also a good challenge. I enjoy it even though there are a lot of naysayers. Pokemon Red is right above that. Not much needs to be said about Pokemon Red. Fire Emblem Fates Birthright, I'm running out of time here so I'm talking fast. Very fun, uh, we'll get back to it soon. Project Cross on 2 demo, started it up, didn't finish it. Pokemon Picross, uh, did two maps or something. Uh, Link Between Worlds, great. 
Mario World, great. Uh, Bravely Second Demo, great. Earthbound, great. All right. And until next time, please, please, please stay average. Keep watching. Goodbye.